Hey guys, um, this is going to be the first of several videos that are going to show you different examples of all the learning journey activities. A little bit of bit different background in here today. This is our home office. My husband's usually in here, but it's Sunday, so I'm going to do my filming in here today to try to be so that it's a little more quiet, hopefully. Um, hint. If I were you, I would read over the directions for each activity I'm doing. So this video is on the cause and effect chain. Uh, I would read over those directions before you watch this so that you have any, like an idea of what I'm talking about so you're not like, what the heck are you talking about, Ms. Caulfield? So then it makes sense. Um, uh, I'm gonna show you several different activities, uh, student examples of work. Um, some are computer generated, some are done by hand. Some of you still may do stuff by hand, that's fine, you can just take a picture of it. Um, if not, this should give you some really good examples. Most of the cause and effect chains, here's an example of one, are done on Africa because you'll read in the directions that you need to have like a, a central event. And that fits with Africa, the section on Africa really well because of the Berlin Conference, but you'll see here like the causes, Berlin Conference and the effects of. I wanna say when you do the cause and effect chain, it doesn't have to be like this, cause this, cause this, then this, then this effect, effect, effect. It could be bigger general causes, which led to the Berlin Conference eventually, and then precipitating events that happened afterward, um, or something like that. You're like, you'll see with this project, you know, they pick like general themes, like the Industrial Revolution, and then Dr. Um, Livingston, and then King Leopold going to the Congo, then the Berlin Conference, and then Robert Terror, E.D. Morrell, uh, you know, Belgium fully taking over the Congo. But you, I should hear in your effects stuff about the entire section. The activity, it shouldn't focus on just one part of the section. It should be the whole section at large. So down here is the effects. I should probably hear something about Ethiopia or maybe how the rest of the continent of Africa was divided or maybe even something about South Africa threw in there or whatever. It doesn't have to be like, you know, immediate effects of the Berlin Conference. So here's one. I'm going to show you several um, other examples. So here's another um, computer generated one. I love this one because it's so creative. Um, and it's all on the computer. They use like different shapes and then, you know, the causes, Berlin Conference, the effects of, super organized, no white space. They use the full space. You could easily do this on slides or docs or whatever. So very creative. I love this. This group, everything they did was by hand and it was super creative. And they, they made a theme for like every single one of their activities, which I love that creativity. So this says British baking disaster. It's, you know, um, they kind of make some humor, um, which is fun too. So here are the causes, mixing in a bowl, then the baking, and then the effects, which is their finished product. Very good. Um, here is another one. Okay, so this group were really good artists. So you can see here, um, they did theirs on Africa as well. Notice that they used hands, um, which we talked about in the Congo, um, hands being severed. And um, they used that and they, you know, outlined the causes and then the effects of. This is phenomenal, super creative, beyond expectation, of course. If you yourself right now are like, uh, dude, I'm not that creative, like you're freaking me out, Ms. Coffin, how am I gonna, it doesn't have to be that creative. Um, but if you are someone who is creative or good at art, like I'd love to see what you come up with. But if you're like, no, dude, I can't do that. Like do this, this is still awesome. Picture, they have no white space. They use all the things, like they just made squares. Just do that, like causes, Berlin Conference, effects of, like, super good, very well explained, etc. Here's another one, they use a theme as well. They do like batteries going into the Berlin Conference and then the light effects of outward. Um, this person was also super creative and very good at art. Um, you know, they, they do it as like the Africans in the Congo as their theme, uh, Berlin Conference in the middle as you can see. Uh, here's another one, they do a theme as well. Um, they do theirs as like a train. This one was also of Africa. Um, this one they just did, they, they did it by hand to create like three dimensional look, but they still printed everything out and then they just kind of pasted it on here. You can do that as well with arrows pointing like causes and effects. And then this is the last one. This is just a hand drawn version of what you could do on the computer, you know? So if let's say you're having computer trouble, you know, you're the other end of the spectrum, you're like, I want to do it all by hand, I'm just going to take a picture of it. This is an example of how you could do that. If you're not super creative or, you know, you don't have any great ideas, you can still, you know, generate it like that. So that is the cause and effect chain. Um, stay tuned for the next uh, activity in the next video. Again, email me if you have any questions.